You know when St. Paul says, we are the church and the church is the body of Christ and Christ is the head. Imagine when you're feeling down, when, you, when you're at your lowest moment, you're drowning, you've hit rock bottom, there is no way out of this situation, it's miserable. Satan will come exactly at this time, when you are really losing hope and losing everything. He will come at this time and he'll put every negative thing in your head. Look at you, where is Jesus? But he doesn't tell you it's him. By the way, these kind of thoughts, Satan is an expert. When you hear a voice in your head saying, Jesus doesn't love you anymore. Look what he's doing to you. Look what's happening look you've been begging him you've been going to church and praying and doing and look he is playing with you he's deserted you he's let you down he has failed you this is satan 100 percent. i know trust me the beard is white right i know it's satan you know what you say you say to satan and another advice, don't engage yourself in a conversation with Satan a lot. Don't. Don't give him this opportunity. Don't. He talks to you, you talk to the Lord. Don't talk back to him. Because he'll grab you. I've tried it. <laughs> you talk, he talks to you, you talk to the Lord. He comes and says, then and then and Say, Lord, I love you. Smack him. When you ignore Satan, he boils up. He hates it. So get on his, on his nerves. Yeah. Why do you want to try to get on my nerves? Man, I'm a weak instrument. What do you want from me? I'm the greatest sinners of all. I'm nothing. So if you've got a problem, talk to my master. Bring the Lord. Don't be Mr. Superman and say, Hey, Satan, come here. I'm going to show you who is the man here. No, no. He'll, he'll make you a football and he'll shoot you everywhere. Believe me, grab the Lord and say, Lord, you talk to him. And then the Lord will go, boo, boo. Why would I come and yell and lose my voice? If Jesus was not real, why would I waste my time and your time? Do you think this is just a... Like a, a duty, an obligation? No. The church is not a duty. This kind of gathering is not a duty. It's not an obligation. This is life. I'm here because Christ is my life. Otherwise, no one will see me. I don't give one penny about this or that. This clothes and that chair is beautiful because of Jesus. Otherwise, without Jesus, just a chair. Who gives one penny about the chair? Otherwise, this is just clothes. Anyone can make them and very cheap. You go to Cabramata, very cheap. But what makes these beautiful and precious is this gorgeous man called Jesus of Nazareth. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. When you're drowning and when your entire body is submerged underwater and Satan comes and makes fun of you and me, says, look at you, you're dead, you're finished. Say, no, as long as the head is above water, I'm alive. Let the whole body be underwater submerged. I'm not dead. I haven't drowned. The head is above water. I can breathe because I can receive oxygen through the head, not the body. That's the source of my life, the head. This is where I receive my breath of life. Well, guess what, Satan? The head of this body is Christ. The church, us, is the body of Christ. Christ is the head. When your head is Christ, where is this head? When up to heaven and sat at the right hand of the Father in the Holy of Holies, the ultimate sovereign authority, the Son of God, the Son of Man, equal to God. This is my head. 
He is at, in the heaven of all heavens. Satan, can you bring the head of Christ under water? If you can, then I'm dead. But if you can't, I'm going to step on you in the name of the one who is my head, Christ the King. For as long as he lives, I live. Let the body be persecuted. Let the body go through trouble sometimes. Let the body suffer. But the head is Christ. This is the, my source where I receive the breath of life. I'm not dead. So away with you, Satan. Christ is my oxygen, is my life. My head is in the heaven of all heavens. You can't go any higher than this. You can't be any more glorious than this. This is where Christ has taken us, my beloveds. Love the Lord and enjoy the moment with the Lord. Read the Holy Bible. Make your homes churches or a church. Please, I beg you. If there is any silly photos of people and this and that, rip them apart. Shred them, throw them away. Clean the environment. Clean the atmosphere. Clean the house. Put a place where you kneel. Kneel, let your knees hit the ground and worship Jesus Christ of Nazareth and see what the Lord is going to do for you.